in content e-commerce. So this is being rolled out um, across Instagram and Facebook. So this is where you can now tag products within content. So you'll see them both in images and also in videos. So for example, Frontside might make it this wonderful piece of video content for a particular brand. And there's no mention, let's say they're doing it for, I don't know, glassons, and we're talking about shoes and, uh, and trousers and various products like that. There'll then be a, um, the ability to tag those products. So underneath the video, you can actually see those products, click, click on an image for it, and then go across the website and, and buy it. It's like, a, it's like Facebook's version of real-time Pinterest linked yeah. with e-com. And I think that what is going to happen more and more with, with that stuff is that the bigger ecosystems around e-commerce platforms, either Shopify or this or that, getting plugged in more and more, yeah. that real-time e-commerce, I'm interested with full video stuff, it's going to get really interesting because you know I could watch my favorite you know, surfer or skater or snowboard or whatever it is, and it's like in real time, it's like, oh, cool, that's all the stuff, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. What I think an interesting tweak on top of it will be how brands and influencers or people actually start to have affiliate linking and real-time e-com yeah. clipping the ticket on e-commerce items with co-branded things. You know, you could have a really big, powerful sports celebrity partnered with a rebel sport or something like yeah. that, going around doing whatever, and then in real-time being able to create e instant e-commerce things. That's going to be interesting because I think it's almost like the first phase is like, linking these things together of like content, e-commerce, real time. The second wave, which I'm probably more intrigued is, is how, how do brands, celebrities, social influencers, you know, all those type of, you know, sporting stars, yeah. and even potentially not sporting stars, tech bloggers, researchers, yeah. whatever it yeah. is. It's, it's, that's actually really intriguing to me. And I think it might be a little too early for 2017 for that to go to mainstream, but I actually at least think that brands will try to figure out, oh, do I need to have this full e-commerce platform and this? Yeah. Can't they maybe talk together? Yeah. Is there a disconnect between the bricks and mortar and the online? Yeah. How does clicks and mortar exist on two different platforms of Facebook plus this? Those things I think are, are and I'm, I'm sure there are some options globally, but I think in New Zealand, we probably haven't seen too much of that just yet. Yeah, and I think what's really interesting for me is the whole idea that you can really now focus on producing a fantastic piece of content without worrying too much about the product placement. Yeah. And, you know, we've seen it on TV for many years with, with product placement desperately trying to, you know, put yeah. those products in there. Whereas now we don't have to worry about that because actually it's showing underneath the, underneath the content anyway yeah. on, on, the, on your Facebook feed. So you can click on it and go Exactly. And, and in some ways it's kind of... I think it could be kind of cool because if they do it that way, or they are doing it that way, it's not like you'd be watching it and it was just you so blatant of like, yes, I'm using the latest iPhone. It yeah. can just be like, no, you see it in it. And it almost can, for, for people who don't want to be so pushy with it, it can just organically sit below. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think we should, we'll watch this space. And I think especially around sports, yeah. around ticketing, around places where, you know, these full setups and stuff like, I could see one like that rolling for, you know, like tech geeks, and it's a yeah. photo of their desk with like a million different tech gizmos. Yeah. It's like, boom, all that. Yeah. I mean, Facebook <coughs> already have an integration with, with, with Shopify, and yes. some people have asked me whether they even need a website now, and my advice always is yes, because Facebook, and this has happened actually this year, I can't remember the name of the company, but um, if Facebook can turn you off, yeah. and then all of a sudden... Uh, you know, for whatever reason, you might have broken some rules or whatever it might be. Still think it's very important to own your data on your own site. But, um, you know, there's no doubt that a vast majority of your traffic will be coming through such social platforms right now. So keep them all, link them up, and let's let the tech figure all the bits and pieces out.